My name is Bernice Pizarro. I'm an 8th grader and I go to Bell Romero K-8. <laughs> um, English language arts because um, one of my favorite hobbies is to read. I read all the time, maybe too much. <laughs> so, and right now we're uh, studying books and right now I'm reading Diary of Anne Frank and doing a book analysis of that. And so that's really fun. <laughs> I really like uh, challenging myself. Sometimes it's really like, it's really hard, but like, it's the only way you can improve <laughs> is if you push yourself. Like sometimes it just seems really difficult and tiring, but you just have to stay positive and just keep working. And especially if it's something you really like doing, like me with reading, then it just really makes it worthwhile like at the end. <laughs> just to see how far you've progressed. Um, so school is all about learning, and so also doing all these extra activities, it also helps me learn more things about myself, and like maybe things I want to pursue in the future, if I want to become a professional uh, flute player. <laughs> or if I want to uh, like make my own volunteer work and volunteer outside of Greeley. So it, it really helps expand my horizons and it also gives me a really nice break from uh, schoolwork because I'm just doing things I really like doing and when I try something new it's kind of nerve-wracking but it's expanding my horizons so I can have a better look at everything I guess. <laughs> Well, I'm not really a talkative person, <laughs> so whenever I go out and um, meet people who have the same interests as me, it helps me open up to my classmates and it helps me like help them and lets them help me when I'm confused. And it's just really helpful for everyone when everyone can open up and sometimes it's really hard, but like knowing how far we can get when we work together or help each other and um, taking those experiences from the clubs I'm in, it really helps progress us as a class and then as a class of 2023 and just as people just working together and making progress. <laughs> um, I opened and enrolled into Early College Academy and I was accepted. <laughs> it's really amazing. And uh, I chose early college because I went to the open house and the teachers were absolutely amazing. And like something here at Bella Romero that I really love is just the, the family, like the staff here it, are, because it's just really astonishing to see how close everyone is with each other. And like they talk things like outside, like not about school. And they, and they just have so many funny stories about each other. It's, really great listening to them and when I went to early college I saw that same connection I see here and that's like really makes me comfortable because I know that they're a family like we are here at Bella too and also um, I love learning <laughs> so I think ECA would be a really good fit for me with how much more work we do there and so I'm really excited to dive into all that and so I think ECA is going to be really great. <laughs> I really haven't thought that far ahead yet because I really because I want to be so many things <laughs> it's hard to pick one so I'm hoping my experience at ECA will help me decide what I want to study exactly my top two I guess is becoming an author and maybe also an architect <laughs> like there's nothing else like especially when I write something for someone else just like seeing them read it is really nerve wracking and like, cause I'm, I'm opening up to them with my, cause like how much I put myself in these character's shoes, I get really connected to that character, even if it's like a short story. And I'm so nervous like opening myself up to the person reading it. But like once they're finished and it just feels great knowing that they know a little bit more about me if they're able to understand that I, that's basically me on the paper. Um, and also drawing like buildings and stuff it's just 
building something permanent for other people to like use for their own careers and lives is just an amazing thought I have <laughs> so that they can do their own careers and their like bring their own families into these buildings and just giving them a place where they can stay and where they can be safe is just an amazing feeling I have. I like Romero because we're big, weird, and very flawed, but very beautiful family. <laughs> it's been really, like, grounding, I guess, just knowing that the same teachers are here, the same principal, and like it's also really sad because a lot of teachers that I've have either taught me or I've grown friends with have left while I've been here this like my entire life, and so it's really sad to see them leave. But like, just the experiences I've had with everyone is just like it's something I cherish so much, and just the relationships with the students that do leave to another school and and the students that ha I have been with my entire life. It's just the relationships I've had throughout my the span of school is just something I cherish a lot and I don't, again, I don't know if I answered the question, but just being here this whole time has been truly an honor to, <laughs> and I've been accepted into this family and I've been a part of it for such a long time and just love it. <laughs>